welcome to curie electrons so another three four videos we are going to see how to prepare for skill test of any elect any government uh, central government or state government exams for electronics mechanics students so that uh, if you are a electronic mechanics student how do you prepare for the skill test it can be any organization isro a drdo a bell bhel or whatever it is how do you prepare for the skill test the skill test uh, what are the most probable topics for skill test so one is the component identification component identification so they'll give you a number of components and you have to find out what is that component it can be electronic components or it can be from the uh computer that is computer peripherals computer cables rf components it can be anything uh, this i will show you in one video what are the components usually you come across the second is that uh they could give you a wire gauge standard wire gauge and ask you to find out the a gauge of the given wire so you should know how to use a standard wire gauge and next uh, what they can give they can give the schematic of a circuit schematic they will give you and on a general purpose general purpose pcb you have to make the circuit general purpose pcb so so they will give you they will provide you a schematic and general purpose board and the components and you have to make the circuit give you the supply to it and show the output if input is required you have to connect that is the other one a third one the fourth one is that they won't give you the <coughs> schematic what they will give you they will give you a ready made pcb and placement diagram placement diagram placement diagram and one more thing is required that is the component list component list so they'll give what they'll give you they'll give you placement diagram pcb printed circuit that's not a general purpose pcb then a component list so based on that you have to assemble the components here when they give the a uh, printed circuit board the soldering quality has to be good not like the general purpose board when you as per the schematic when you assemble a circuit uh, more than the soldering quality uh, it is it, the function should work it is expected the you will get the output and also the general purpose board also you have to do it neatly and the other one is that fifth one what they could do they will ask you they will ask you to trace the pcb tracing pcb and tracing pcb and draw the circuit draw the circuit draw the circuit so what you do they will just give you a pcb with the components you using a multimeter you have to trace that circuit and put it on a paper and redraw it as a neat circuit diagram to do that uh, it is little highly skilled it means to do that you have to have a, a familiarity with the circuit then it will be easy and the final one maybe in the in the posts are very less one or two then what they do uh, they will simply give a application just like uh, uh, make a 
phase shift oscillator or RC a wind bridge oscillator or a, a drive a motor drive a motor with MOSFET that's all they'll say with MOSFET then what you have to do you have to draw yourself the circuit and uh, you have to construct it and you have to test it and show so these are the most probable uh, questions for the skill test of an electronics mechanic candidates and the last one sixth one it is the more competitive one where the few seats are very less uh, so the candidate should be able to draw the circuit and uh, make it functional as for the components okay so usually you've come across the other five and out of that five first four are the more common ones okay so uh, in this first I will try, try to explain you how to uh, make a circuit using the general purpose PCB uh, next I will show you uh, once uh, when the placement diagram and PCB is given how do you assemble and what are the care uh, what are the things you should care for okay uh, so let us uh, uh, I will try to upload the videos quickly uh, because some of you are waiting for the ISRO skill test and DRDO skills test. So I will try to help you out. As time permits, I will upload the videos. Thanks for watching.